good. Happy Sunday, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Sunday edition of Politics with Riley King. Let's get started right now. On this week's edition of Politics with Riley King, we got a jam-packed program to get to, so let's begin. First up, earlier this week, President meets with New Hampshire delegation to discuss the, his campaign. Let's take a listen to that report right now from WRK News 12. President Biden has met with members of the Granite State's congressional delegation to discuss his re-election campaign. Senator Maggie Hassan says Biden has promised he will make visiting New Hampshire a priority as he seeks another four-year term. Biden won the state's presidential primary last week, even though his name wasn't on the ballot. Biden is likely to make a visit to New Hampshire following his State of the Union address in March. Reporting for WRK News 12, I'm Riley King. Okay, and there you go on that report. And, um, yesterday, the result, last night, I should say, um, South Carolina 2024 Democratic primary results came in, and... Here is what the outcome is. President Joe Biden won the South Carolina Democratic primary. Biden faced off against Dean Phillips and Marion Williamson in the South Carolina Democratic primary. Biden had 55 delegates, 96% vote, and 126,321 votes. Meanwhile, Marion Williamson had zero delegates, 2% vote, and 2,726 votes. Dean Phillips had zero delegates, 2% vote, and 2,239 votes. The Republican primary is scheduled for February 24th, 2024, where Trump will face former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley in her home state. So we'll be keeping eyes on that for all of you. Um, just 26 minutes from the White House, the White House posted the record-breaking Biden economy. Um, and here are the bullet points that they shared. 14.8 million new jobs, wages, wealth, and employment higher than before the pandemic, nearly 800,000 manufacturing jobs, and 774,000 construction jobs created, record 16 million applicants, applications to start new businesses, unemployment below 4% for two full years, and inflation fell 2% over the last six months. And that is it for this edition of Politics with Riley King right here on WRMK News 12. Thank you for tuning in for this Sunday edition of Politics with Riley King. I'll see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics with Riley King. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and see you back here next Sunday. Bye now.